Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Scuff Beginner Friendly tutorial series. Today we are up to episode 14, we're going to be doing our hips wire rigging. Firstly, I'm so sorry it has taken so long for me to edit this next video. It was actually recorded in October last year and I'm getting around to editing it now. So since then I have learned a lot more tips and tricks. I guess that's why I've been so hesitant towards posting this video, but I decided let's just post it anyway. We'll carry on with this tutorial series as a beginner friendly guide, and at a later date I will make a more advanced tutorial series, and I also plan on releasing more tutorial guides and step by step guides that are outside of this tutorial series. For today, Let's just learn the basics. Let's learn hips Y rigging. Let's do it! Hip Y rigging setup. So let's start where we left off. Okay, so now that we have our hip X rigged, we can now rig in our hip Y. So if you go to the hip X parameter, you can right click select and then select hips Y and then create three keyforms. Now everything is also keyed to hips Y. Okay, so when we move our hips Y to negative 30, we're going to be looking down. So we want our hips to move up and vice versa. When our hips are at positive 30, we're going to be looking up and we want our hips to move down. That's just how I like to rig the movement of the body, but it is personal preference. So on top of your lower body XY augmented walk deformer, you can create a rotation deformer and I labeled it Y hip rotation. And I also do the same for the upper body torso. This is just so you have more control over your movement. Also make sure that it is moved to the center of the body before you keyform it on your parameters. And you can see that with this, on each keyform, you can drag the hips wherever you would like them to move. Hip Y general rig. So here on hips Y negative 30, I rig the hip moving upwards and at hips Y positive 30, I rig the hips moving down. I also fix up the glue in places, but mainly focus on that general movement for now. Connecting the legs. You can also make a leg Y warp deformer. Make sure that it is below leg X and you can keyform them to hips Y and move them with the hips movement. Synthesizing and refining corners. So now that we have the general movement of hips Y, if you connect this to the hips X parameter, you can see that the corners are a little bit wonky. Right click select all on hips Y, click on hips X, and create three keyforms. These two parameters are now linked. Go to the hamburger button and synthesize corners. This won't completely fix everything, so you can go into each corner move things around, make it look smoother. And that is exactly what I do in this portion of the video. So I just go in, grab the leg Y, warp deformers, move them around, you can also adjust the glue, you can adjust the rotation deformers at these corners. It has been a long time since I rigged this model and recorded this footage, so I have actually learned a lot of new techniques and resources. For example, one silly mistake that I made is that the mesh that I have on my legs and my hips, that can actually be one item clipped to all three body parts. That would actually save a lot of time with me trying to align 
the little lines. And there is also another tool that I learned and that is being able to smooth out the little vertices on your warp deformers to get smoother movement. There are a lot more options since the recent updates, but just little techniques like that I would like to include in a future series. Extended interpolation. Okay, look at those hips go! So we have got hips Y and hips X all rigged together as well as the corners. I like to right click, select, and then go to the hamburger button, and then go extended interpolation. I like to select ellipse interpolation, and again this is just a little technique to get some smoother movement. Physics menu settings and summary. Now the last thing to do is to go into your physics menu. So I went to my hip X and I duplicated that group. And under input, I selected body Y. And then under our output settings, I selected hips Y. And we kept all of the other settings, for example, on the pendulum settings, the duration shaking, reaction, and overall acceleration, as well as the scale. We kept that the same as our hips X group. If you'd like more exaggerated movements, you can increase the scale, you can increase the shaking, uh, you can reduce the reaction time, and that can give you a bit more bouncy movement. But again, this is going to be based on personal preference. Okay, so that was just a general overview of our hips Y, and how we integrate that with our hips X movement. For our next video, we'll be covering legs X and legs Y, and we'll also be including a little thigh jiggle. Discussion and outro. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will be releasing more videos more regularly. Our next video will be on our legs Y and X. And we're also going to be doing some legs jiggle. As you can see, we have some thigh jiggle. But yeah, that's all for today. Make sure that you put on some comfy clothes, have some food, have some water, and take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.